You can always tell in our videos what time it is based on how wrinkled my shirt is because we don't have a dryer here and we don't have an iron here but we just have humidity that that's what we have going for us is humidity and so anytime my shirt is wrinkled like this that's when you can tell that it's early in the day because my own humidity from my body and the humidity in the air has not ironed my shirt out yet <laughs> pro tip no iron needed just move to the tropics i don't want to stay here no ain't gonna keep it low Pretty here, huh, Banjo? Mm -hmm. Do you like it in Samoa? Yeah. I mean, I miss my friends, but I do like it. Because if we didn't come to Samoa, I wouldn't have met Louisa. Yep, Louisa's your new friend here, huh? Yep. Mm -hmm. It's always nice to meet new peoples. Yep. So today, we're headed to Pungal. And it's been a nice day so far, but. That doesn't look so good. Probably be fun to fly through though. I don't wanna stay here no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Striking the wind of hopes now. Liberty's on my mind. We've taken off with like the ground. You, you gotta understand that we get one chance, one chance. So we were trying to get on that plane because I thought that we got on the first plane out of Samoa, but we get on the second plane out of Samoa. What time do we leave here, Banjo? We leave at 12.45. And what time do we get there? 12.20. So we leave here at 12.45 on Sunday, and we arrive on... 12.20 on Saturday. There. So we go back in time. I am a...
which is so much fun. You get to see so much stuff, you get to be so close to the pilots. It was really cool this time, is I got the front seat, and so I got to see the whole thing all the way from the beginning to the end. Manolo, have a good day, thank you. You can sleep? I'm somewhere in the middle. Okay, let's go. Try to find myself again. But life is one big riddle. All the future and what's been. The first time we got to Samoa, uh, when Banjo was two, she came in here and she laid on the ground for like an hour. Guess <laughs> it's the way it goes, and I will never know why you let me go. Look to the left, look to the right, nothing can stop me in the night like I am leaving all the bad stuff. And trying to remain so strong, I know it's good if I'm alone, I got it, I got it. We're in Carl's Jr. in Pungo right now. Carl's Jr. is pretty massive. There's a lot of people in this Carl's Jr. None more important than those that are right there. <laughs> Hello, ladies. <laughs> she always hates the camera. I don't know if you can see, but it's raining pretty good outside. That's why glasses are all wet. I don't know if you can tell. The noise in here is next level. Like this is the loudest restaurant that I've ever been in before in my life. It is also the biggest Carl's Jr. that I've ever been in. It is massive. Probably twice as big as the biggest Carl's Jr. I've ever been in before. <laughs> That you took, but now it looks like acting, like we were fiction in a book. Cause it's the way it goes, and I will never know why you let me go. Look to the left, look to the right, nothing can stop me in the night, like I'm leaving all the bad stuff and trying to remain. I know it's good if I'm alone, I got it, I got it And cool story about the rental van. So yesterday I spent a lot of time on the phone trying to get a hold of somebody about a rental van here in Pango. I probably called like six different places and every place is like no van, no van, no van, no van, no van, no van. And the reason why they were saying no van was because they said that the government had rented all the vans on the island that were available. And they don't have any SUVs here either, I guess, except for like five person SUVs. So like RAV4s and stuff like that. But we have seven people. And this is in Samoa where you can just sit wherever you want to without any kind of seat belts on in the back seat you have to have everybody with a seat belt because it's America because we're in American Samoa right now that's where Pango is it's actually Pango Pango P-A-G-O P-A-G-O the G for those of the of you that don't know I don't know can I make a G with my fingers can you make a G with your fingers a G anyway so the G in Samoan is an NG sound and the A is like Spanish right so like an A is ah so P-A-G-O pronounced Pango and there's two of them so Pango Pango <laughs> I called five or six places and there was I had no luck anywhere so I called my auntie this morning we left for Pongo today I called her this morning and said uh, it looks like I'm going to have to rent two cars two SUVs because I can't find a rental van anywhere and she said did you call O&O &O? I said yes and they said they don't have anything so she calls 
her cousin and her cousin calls up O&O from here in Pongo and they said oh yeah we have a rental van come down and get it so she went down and grabbed the van for us and picked us up from the airport and brought us over here to our house that's pretty cool pretty cool story I want to show you a tour you want to show me the tour yeah okay come in come in so this is the kitchen, this is the counter, and this is the two, the two, this is the, the two sinks, sinks. Yeah. and this is the table, this is the table, and the TV. Yeah, okay, take us up here. This room will be for me and Amanda Lane. It is open to the living room and the kitchen downstairs. Your guys' room? Uh-huh. That's it has the air the conditioning, a um, remote, last room. Where? Down here, downstairs. This room. This was the last room? Yep. This is Grandma's room. Yep, this is a perfect room for Grandma's hey. sliding door. So fancy. Toilet and a shower. And all the toilet trees. Toiletries that need to be replaced because that's yeah, disgusting. Look. That's yeah, disgusting. This was the Hawaii from the Timmy Chang and Colt Brennan days. No show. They were so excited to have a TV. <laughs> So you guys know we don't have TV in Apia and uh, it looks like we don't have TV in Pongo either It's really nice out here when you have the breeze We can't get the breeze to come into the house because there's no windows on that side of the house So the breeze comes from that way to this way. It's pretty unbearable in the house It's gonna be a hot couple days because we also don't have any fans And there's no fans in the house. We have to spend as little time as possible in this house Costuless, which is, um, I don't know if it's owned by Costco or what, but it feels a lot like Costco or Sam's. Big difference being here as compared to being in Samoa. There's just so much selection here and so many American things. I'm so happy to see all this stuff, but we're only gonna be here for two days, so we don't need most of this stuff, but we're gonna pound some fruits and vegetables for breakfast in the morning. It's 5.30 right now and it closes at eight, but I think Alicia wants to stay here until it closes. So she's just meandering all over the place, looking at everything. that we can't really find in Samoa or it's really expensive. But I walked in there and I was so distracted, like I couldn't even focus on the list. <laughs> Just like, ah, oh, things. I want all the things. We did pretty good. We got some water for while we're here. The girls asked for um, beach cover-up dresses, like sundresses, and we found some. Found a couple more hats to cover my paleness. We've been looking for like a traditional hard side cooler, but they have a really sweet one that was on sale and it folds super flat. We don't take that much refrigerated stuff. It's really nice. It was like 35 bucks. And then a drink one that was 13 bucks. So not too bad. They fold down really nice. And Instead of being a big cooler to take on the plane. Plasticware, reusable plasticware. These because they are like worth their weight in gold in Samoa. Plastic bowls. Nothing super exciting, but a few things we needed. A few things that'll make the girls happy. We're 
on the hunt for cake and like flowers to do James birthday tomorrow that's the whole reason we came over here it's his 40th birthday and they don't have anything in there but they told us where we can go find some stuff so we're gonna run over there quick There's no rules in parking lots here. It's like whoever gets there first parks in whatever direction they want. Then other people kind of fill in the cracks. Hello. We're here for James's 40th birthday party and we are looking for some flowers to put on James's grave. There's a sweet market right here that has some some cool flowers to put on the grave. For his baby brother's grave. It's his 40th birthday tomorrow. <laughs> she said that kind sits well on a grave. Mm. She said all these are 10. And this one? 20. And that big one over there is 15. Oh, this one's really nice, huh? 15. Yeah. My mom really likes the white ginger, though. She was telling me about it. Yeah. Okay. Can we get this one? Sure. Do you guys make them? Yes. You do beautiful work. Yes. <laughs> 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 Don't say hi. So you came from Long Island or you live here? We live in Samoa. In Samoa. Mm -hmm. And where's the brother? Um, he's buried here. He passed away a long time. He passed as a baby. Ooh, but um, he used to live here. You see some more? He's Afakasi oh. and he lived here till he was five. And the baby was born and passed away as a baby, but he's buried here. So we moved to Samoa a few months ago and his mom came with us. So we came back today to be here for the baby's yeah, birthday. So beautiful. yeah. Where's he buried? I think it's Oroville. Yeah. Oh, it's the, 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 the cemetery. No, no, no. no it's, it's family land. land. Oh, you know, no. property. Yep. Do you grow all the tewila on your property? They're really pretty. I love it. I like your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Do you grow my, that too? <laughs> my, kids, my, kids, my kids' shirts throw they off island was cool and I clean up and use them as my working clothes. <laughs> Malo. <laughs> It's our medicine, you yeah. know what they say. Malo, Malue. Malo, boy, boy. Baba Tai Tai Lava. Baba Tai Lava. Oh, so nice. That looks awesome. Oh, wow. I love it. Beautiful. I have never seen a wreath like that. So, how much do you think they are? 50. <laughs> Angel thinks 50, mom? 80. Zara? I already said 200. I said 77. Sifulu Lima. No way! <laughs> this is 15? Holy moly. Sifulu Lima for that. Sifulu Lima. Oh my god. You goodness. should probably explain. I'm just it. So 15 for that? Lima. 1 5. It's 1 5. 